Hey everybody, welcome into this new video of Tech Express. My name is Steven, and in this tutorial, let's take a look into how we can create a digital planner to sell into Etsy. If you don't know what Etsy is, it's an amazing place to sell stuff, digital stuff, uh, physical products, print of the mod, truly, truly a lot of sales that you can actually get started with. So if you are willing to actually sell digital stuff, what I can strongly suggest to you is to focus into the product that you want to sell inside Etsy. See, I'm already here into NC.com. What I wanted to do is to get into the actual search for anything keyword product searcher. And here I wanted to go and type digital planner. Now, these digital planner is going to be showing me all the actual elements, all the people who are selling this product. So, as you can see, we do have 500 thousand resources including ads on Etsy so if you are willing to do this what you want to do is to try to make your post let's say be featured a little bit more so you wanted to use uh, this as an example as an inspiration how you can get started with so if you go directly here into sold by I wanted to go and focus into the one that says top customer reviews and here, as you can see, we have um, one that has truly, truly a lot of ratings, 3,000 ratings, 36, 8,000 ratings, 5,000 ratings. So this one is going to be helping me to check it out how this actually works. If you check it out, the actual elements that we can see here, most of them have a lot of videos of how those are actual digital planners work for an iPad. Uh, this is like a few, a quick animation of how once again, this actually work all in one mockups so this is what we're going to be doing today we're going to be using these elements to sell our digital planner and to have more chances to make some sales try to uh, also check it out the actual price of your digital planner for example this guy offers um six dollars per um an actual digital planner this one offers 18 dollars uh 19 dollars 9 dollars 18 dollars if you wanted to just to check it out what is the actual um like a balance between all the all that so once you check it out all of that you want to take your time and check it out how you can get started with i'm going to be using an actual tool called Canva. Now here into Canva, the most amazing thing that we have here available for Canva is that we can use a lot of stuff to leave for free. So if I go and focus into what will you design today, I want to go with search content or of Canva. Uh, and here what I want to do is to look out for a digital planner. This one is going to be taking me into an actual template that can be helping me to get started with. And I have to start totally from scratch. So this is going to be a really, really great element, a huge ally to our product maker. So focused into suggested templates, go into see all and choose the one that you think the best fits for you. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to get started with this one. So I go here, it says customizable daily planner template. I hit into customize this template. And this is the part where you want to get started with the editing of your actual digital planner. So you don't want to just use this to later on sell this as it is uh right already posted here as a template because what we wanted to do is to sell our own main stuff right so um in my case i think that maybe i can change the colors i wanted to do something a little bit more different maybe for example i can select all of my elements and instead of going with this font i can go and look out for code pro for example so it's going to be taking a little bit more uh now um let's say like a customizable um planner for myself so uh, what i wanted to do here is just to edit the elements that i do want to see or i do not want to see for example here this digital planner as you can see have elements of water exercise uh money tracker today i am grateful for uh heal tracker for tomorrow knows things to get done by today maybe today's appointment so maybe uh, I might think that I don't need this water and exercise section. So I just choose all of this element. I delete those. This is what we are actually going to be doing here. Edit the elements that you do want to see and the elements that you do not want to see. Now, for example, here, the reminder toe. Um, I can just delete this emoji or this element and I can look for something else. Let's say, for example, that I want to look once again for another bell. 
but I wanted to use another graphic. So if I go here into the left part, you can choose that there's actually a lot of graphics. You can choose, let's say, for example, this one. Now what I want to do is to go into adding a new page. And here into the second page, what we can do is to do exactly the same thing as we just did before. And what it is, is to go into this side, go into the templates. And here into templates, what I want to do is to go for a digital planner. Um, since we're making an actual planner, let's say, for example, that I can go and add a weekly planner, for example. And there we go. So I can use the elements that I wanted that I liked it. And I wanted to implement all of those elements or the same font, the same colors into the new design that we have chose. In our case, was the actual code pro. So I am not going to be focusing a lot into how you can just edit your stuff, use your actual elements to start by making your own actual, um, let's say, your own template. So what I'm going to be focusing now is into the next part, which is actually just posting this directly into Etsy. So. Uh, I'm going to just go into share. I'm going to hit into download. File type should be the PDF painting so people can get started to actually use this actual file. This is the file I'm going to be sending to them once I make an, an actual order. So let's go for customizable daily planner um etsy now what i'm going to be doing here is just to get started with the actual thumbnail how it's going to be looking my actual stuff so go once again into canva i'm going to go into create a design and here i wanted to go and start with something easy like 100 by 100. in here what i wanted to do is to do something like this i wanted to let's say uh, check it out what are the elements that people are using or not using to best develop the feature to get featured into the actual thumbnail section of the digital planner so as you can see most of them actually look too similar so the great thing about that is that what we can do is to start to customize this as our own for example i kind of like this how it's going to be looking this one now here into photos check it out that we have this actual element that looks really great i think this one should be really useful for for us to get started with so i'm going to be moving this double click what i wanted to do now is just to choose something like let's say for example here into elements that you can type let's say for example a computer or a laptop once you have your customizable planner to sell once you have your thumbnails then what you want to do is to have an Etsy account once you have an Etsy account you want it to go here in the shop manager and start selling here you just want to add your basic information uh, you wanted to add let's say for example like a bank account in order to get charges and to receive money and all of that it's not that hard sometimes it just takes like one uh maybe two or five minutes it doesn't take to, uh, too much so now that you have done that correctly you can go into your listing and you can correctly uh, focus into the actual right part that says add a listing so if I click that what I wanted to do is to Im import the actual element for example here let's go for digital planner so before you uh, make sure that you publish this you want to go here into the delivery and you want to select an actual profile here into this profile you want to make sure that you have an actual uh, let's say digital stuff if you haven't done that you can go and create a delivery profile and here let's say for example that country of origin here is our actual postal code and the process in time let's say like one business day and here what i want to do is to go directly into one business days free delivery everything should be free delivery since this is a digital product we are not going to be uh, making some extra charge for that so here you wanted to just type digital products so you can use this for uh, more stuff and if you go into your listings, I'm going to hit into draft and here it should be appearing my digital planner. So before I publish this, you want to make sure that you know that you're going to be getting charge of two, uh, two cents uh, for each listing every three months you are not you wanted to review the terms of use once again here into Etsy but this is how we can sell digital products into Etsy if you wanted to sell more stuff the process is exactly the same 
But first of all, you want to make sure that you have the right product to sell here into Etsy. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit more hard to sell here into Etsy. And what is left to be done is just to check it out your finances, your status, to make some marketing about your products and all of that. But I will leave that video for another day. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, this was a very useful information for you. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, with that being said, I will actually see you guys hopefully continue on the next video.